Well, hello there, Tom Green coming back at you with some Figma goodness. And today's goodness involves putting together what I call card popping. And in this exercise, I'm just going to show you the technique and a way you might want to work it out if it's the first time you've ever done it. And then in the next exercise, I'll actually show you how, how to take what you've learned here and apply it. So let's get started. So what I've got here are three shapes. I got a blue square, a red square, and a green square. You can see that they're in a group, and each of them is individually named. And they need to be individually named because we're going to use Smart Animate to undertake this technique. So what I want to do is when I click on this blue card, it's going to come to the front, and these two cards are going to fade out, and this card, the blue card, will actually become a little bit bigger. So let's get started. So I've got two artboards here, main M1, and this is my finish artboard. So I'm just going to select the card, and this is the cool thing you can do with Smart Animate. So you can do that. So we'll just take that, and we'll make it bigger. And we'll just set the rotation back to zero, just so it fits. There we go. And the other thing we're going to do is take the blue card and change its order. So there we go. Now, what we're going to do next is just set up the interaction. So we're going to come over to prototype mode. And we're going to select the blue card. And you see this little dot here. So we just bring that over. That's a wire. And it goes to there. And we're going to say, look, when I tap it, we're going to navigate to 1. And this time, we're going to use Smart Animate. and we're going to have it use an ease in and ease out because you're going to watch it grow. So you want to see both sides of it. So ease in and ease out. And 300 milliseconds is one third of a second. Let's take it to half a second. And then we'll just come over here to present mode. And if I click on the card, you can see there it goes. Okay, I'm going to close that. So we kind of understand the technique. Now, let's uh, go back to Design View, and we'll just undo the scale. Okay, so there we go. So this time, what we're going to do is we're going to tap on the blue card, just have it come to the front, and these two cards will sort of disappear. So they'll just turn opaque. So what we do is we come over here, we choose this card, Go to Design Mode, straighten it out, and then we'll just make it a little bit bigger. And I can hold down the Option key and have it scale out on both axes. There we go. And I'm just going to move it over just a little bit. And again, we just change its order. And let's also select the red card. And this time we're going to use pass through, but we're going to use a zero percent. But basically, it's almost like making it opaque. And now let's see the effect. So we'll go to prototype mode. Over we go. And you can see the same settings are there. This is good. And we'll just present. And you can see they fade out, and this comes in to focus. You can also use opacity on those other two and just sort of have them fade out and still stay visible in the background. OK, we're going to close that. Now, one of the fundamental rules, of course, is if you all change something, you all should put it back. So we'll set this up so that if I click on this card, we're just going to go back here. So we'll just test it again. Give it a click, and there we go. So this is kind of how you can work out your ideas. It's a low rent way of doing it. You're just working with shapes and you're saying, does this one work? Does that work? And we try this effect, we try that effect. And you don't have to spend a lot of time working with content or worrying about content at all. You're just worrying about the transition between the two states. So in the next one, we're going to do a similar thing, but this time we're going to use actual images. And I'll see you there.